hello welcome back to the channel so today i have something exciting for you this is a very basic application whereby you charge and when there is no grid you use you can connect this and use it as a basic setup or you can connect it and use it for your household like this once you purchase this whole setup for about 450,000 naira, you can even do the connection by yourself so you can install the whole system by yourself so this system will be charged by the grid and in Nigeria, if you if you know the current um, energy situation in Nigeria, so we have band A, band B, and so on. Okay, so I'll be making an example with just two bands. So the band A is 220 um, naira average per kilowatt hour. Okay, so this battery takes about 1.5 kilowatts to fully charge from zero to 100. So if you are charging this battery, you are charging with only 300 naira on band A and 100 naira on band B. And what will that charge power for you okay so in my previous video when i did capacity test you can see that this powered a power station of um about 150 watt for about nine hours so it means you can get up to nine hours backup from this and if you are to own generator for about nine hours you know the current um rate in nigeria about 1000 naira per liter so you'll be reducing at least minimum 3000 naira but with this system you can save a lot so you can charge it wherever there is grid either on band a or band b but a 300 naira band b about 100 naira to charge from 0 to 100 and you are able to use this for at least eight to nine hours of backup so you can use this application for fun you can use it for fridge you can use it even with iron i demonstrate how to um, connect and you can see the appliances connected to it so let's go into the connection of the basic setup and later on you will see how we make this whole board we have the battery here we have the charger and the inverter so we connect this one after the other so you have these lockers that comes with the inverter itself okay so you're going to be plugging this cable to this using their color code okay so it's very simple so when working with a dc system you are working with black and red cable so the black uh, represents the negative sign so you can see there's a minus so you can see there's a minus which means negative and there's a plus which means positive okay so all you're working with is red and black and it's coded across board and it's simple okay so on the battery as well you have the red you have the black okay on the charger as well you have the red and you have the black so that means our connection is pretty straightforward okay all we are doing is connecting all the red to the same place and all the blacks to the same port very simple so you take the black cable so we start with the black so this is the black so we connect the black to the black port and we lock it so ensure you don't mix this color the black is locked so we take it and we lock it onto the battery so black is done from the inverter to the batteries so we take the red so same way you put you connect you lock it in using your hand you can see here we don't actually need um much tools okay so so the basic connection requires less tools okay so i'll be going into the advanced connection later on okay so you can see so just connect and you're good okay so with one screwdriver you are able to connect this you can see we're done with the inverter connecting red to red and blacks to the black so you use screwdriver to tighten this down so you use your hand to tighten this so you can see the inverter comes on we are good so let's put this down the next is to connect the charger very simple as well so you take this and plug into your grid source which i have a grid i have the grid connection here so you take to the red positive and you also take this to the black negative so with this we have the charger and the inverter and the battery connected so now we can charge the battery by plugging this into the grid input so you can see it turns on and charge the battery you can actually put this in a corner of your house and use this like this so one thing you need to understand is when you connect this and you're charging the battery and you are also using this there is no um, grid bypass where you charge and use okay where you charge and use the battery is not possible like that way so when you are charging you are actually using from the charging so if the load exceeds what you are charging with then you'll be draining 
your battery so this is just a backup system whereby you connect this once the battery is full you disconnect and when you don't have light you can actually plug in your load and use the battery so let's assume the battery is full now you can turn this off and that is it so you can disconnect and you can take out this and the inverter and use so to demonstrate that we need to put this on so once you put this on you have ac out you can come in with an extension and plug the extension directly to this point so when you plug in the extension you can see all your appliances come on from there okay you can also plug appliances directly to this inverter so if you plug you can see this is the pressing ion connected so you can see this is a pressing ion connected directly to this battery and this um, pressing ion is 1000 watt okay so you can see this is connected and you can see it's on let's wait for a moment and you can see it's getting very hot now it's getting very hot okay so you can see the light is still on so the light is still on and it's on maximum so it clicks out because we are done um, it has reached the maximum temperature so you can see it's not it's not fluke the pressing iron was on how we made this board and how we connected the batteries together okay so let's get started now the charger will be placed on top the inverter will be placed then we'll have all these breakers placed so instead of using this socket we can put connect to the output of the breaker directly so we can easily do this we can wire this directly like so so we can have this connected to the breaker so i will need my screws so here you can actually use um your normal screwdriver for this but i'll be using okay so that is mounted and it's secured this is a much personal faster secured okay so we have all this breaker box mounted so to pass the cable through the back i will have to drill into this I plug the um, inverter then I wire this so this is the output socket from the inverter the black represents neutral here on AC side life goes to the L on this okay so this is the charger so the charger is connected into this breaker okay so this is the connection so the input comes to this voltage regulator so you can see this is the live and this is the neutral so it, it, it loops to the spd and we have the spd added then we have the output comes from here then it moves directly into the breaker 
and the breaker supplies the charger and here you can see we have connected directly from the inverter output to this so this is the load side so the load goes here the inverter charger goes here So this is the input, um, this is the voltage regulator and this is the control. So you can use this to switch on the charger and off, okay? So this is live neutral and this is the earth power surge protector but for now i will only connect this the grid is in all right so if i turn on the breaker now so you can see it starts making a sound and you can see this red icon turns on so once this red icon turns on it means we are charging the battery and it turns green when the battery is fully charged and it stops taking power from your grid so this charges with approximately 20 amps which means in five hours you will get this battery fully charged from zero to hundred this is the load output so we have connected the load output here and i have wired this to my generator i don't use generator at all so i've wired this to the generator um input so i have to disconnect this and connect now you can see the house is running on inverter okay so this is my inverter there's no light at the moment so there's no grid at the moment okay so now i will turn on the inverter so now you can see there's a beep and you can see the inverter has the voltage at about 3.6 and that is it then you have the socket here so the socket here that will be powering the house is on now i can bring this off so if i take this off now and have it on neutral you can see we have two lights and now i'm taking this down so watch the top watch the top area so you can see the top area is on now so now the top area is the new inverter i've selected so let's see okay good so it's connected now so you can hear there's a microwave coming on and everything is working on the inverter now so that inverter is what is supplying the house so i've changed from my 3.5 kilowatt inverter to the smaller inverter say the voltage is about three volts because we are actually drawing a lot of power from this little inverter and you can see it's very silent okay you can hear the silent operation so it's not even making any noise at all so it's a quiet operation inverter and that is it so thank you for watching i will link the description for um the accessories used here as well as where you can get them in the video thanks for watching subscribe for more videos